Brooklyn, stand up. LA, stand up. Matter of fact, the whole planet yeah. rock with us. Nazalin, dilated, display a new sound. We all live on stage. How's it going? It's Ross Grandy, and we're going to talk about why you can't get abs. And the main reason is not because you didn't buy Mike Chang's magical red drink that gets you off your ass and gets you in the gym and gets you motivated. And it was an advertisement probably right here in this corner, his six cut, no, six pack sh shortcut to abs or whatever his advertisement is he's got up there. Realistically, to get the body that you want, it's not gonna be a shortcut. It's gonna take a while. And a lot of people don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. Uh, people will ask me all the time, and I'll give them the answer, and you know what? Some people don't want to do it. But realistically, when you get done with it, you're going to feel better, you're going to look better, and you're overall, you're just going to be way more healthy. Okay, so the three topics that we're going to cover are going to be toxicity, inflammation, and hormones. Okay, today we live in a society where we are surrounded with toxic chemicals. We have our cosmetics, we have soaps, we have detergents, we have markers. Um, we have all this stuff around us that is extremely toxic, but we just kind of brush it off to the wayside. We say, ah, it's okay, it's whatever, it doesn't really make a difference. And, and a lot of teachings that I've had have said, toxicity, this doesn't really exist. Once something goes in, it goes right out, and it doesn't get stored at all. Well, I've learned differently over the years. And what happens is when we consume toxins, we store them in our fats. Believe it or not, we store them in our fats. And so what happens is we have these overweight people, and they lose weight really quick. Well, we see them get health issues. Some of their organs start to fail. They have all kinds of visceral issues. Reason being is these toxins are stored and they don't detox before they lose the fat. So this is a key player in why people can't get the abs that they want. Okay? The Czech Institute says that the solution to pollution is dilution. The body is going to take on more fat, more water in order to dilute that toxicity down. That's why this is such a key player in getting the abs that you actually want to have. Right? Number two is inflammation. So you can have inflammation secondary to toxicity, but also the things that you eat. So if you have a food that irritates your intestines and you get bloated and you're stuck out to here, well, that doesn't make your abs look so good now, does it? No, nah, not really, okay? And what happens when we have that bloating is our intestines are actually in the same neurological loop as our abdominals. So guess what happens? When you go on the floor and you try to crunch your life away in that you know, fitness class, that quick abs, 15 minutes class that you have, well, guess what? It's not going to work because you're eating like crap. You need to take out the gluten, take out the dairy, take out all the things that are irritating you, and guess what? You're going to see that bloating, that stomach get flat, okay? And you want the gluten and the dairy? That's, that's a whole other topic that we'll cover another day. I've had people debate me on that one a lot. But you want to know what? I've seen it in practice, and I've seen it help a lot of people, okay? And the third one that we're going to go over is hormones. Hormones control fat deposition, where our fat is deposited on our body. So ladies, where do we usually see our fat? Fit, hips, thighs, this kind of area. Guys, we're kind of out here. Why? Why does that happen? Wouldn't you like to lose the weight there? Well, the reason why is because estrogen tends to deposit fat right around the hips and thighs area. Okay? The love handles tends to be insulin. Okay? All over the body, you have these different parts where we have fat deposition that are controlled by hormones. So you can go to practitioners and actually modulate those hormones and then you can spot reduce fat. It's a myth that you can't spot reduce fat. So by using these three things, you can feel better, look better, and just be way healthier. Okay, so these are actually the things that are going to happen. But they can take a while. They can take up to six months, even longer, depending on how much damage has been done. So the important thing to realize is you have to be diligent and you have to work with people that know how to help you with these. If you'd like, you can email me, send me a message, whatever, and I can help set you up with practitioners that will help you with these things. All right? Thanks for listening, and we're going to go over some of the things in more specific at a later time.